everyone. We are doing the, what is it? Admiral Lake. Admiral Lake Loop. So I'll put a description, I'll put a link on the kilometers. What is it about? It's 9.3. We'll find out when we're done. I'll make sure once we're done that I put down how long it is, where you can find it, all that sort of information. So I will go over that. But it is part of the Muscadabit trail system. And this is a nice long loop. We were actually going to do a more coastal hike today. And it, it was cold. It was calling for high winds and cold, but there's actually not a speck of wind here. So I think we actually made a right decision and kind of stayed inland today. It's a little more chilly than it was last weekend, but it's still a really beautiful day. So Ashley, we're gonna have a good time, right? Of course. Yeah, so I do know parts of this trail. It is pretty hilly up and down. This first little part is wonderful. It's nice and flat, nice wide trail. So we're off to a good start and we'll see how we do. I'll check in soon. So we're actually wondering, do we get to go up there? I hope so, because that'll be so pretty to be able to see everything. Woohoo! One kilometer. A few more to go. So we got a couple of kilometers in, and then we come to a spot where this is where the loop actually starts. You can go straight on this path and then come down, and then you would come down here, or you can take the turn here and we can go up what it looks like the side of a mountain. <laughs> And then we would finish off on the flat. And I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna attempt this trail. We're gonna go up and we're gonna see how we do. Are you ready, Ashley? Okay, she's got her trekking poles in hand. And there's the markers there to show where the trail goes. And I guess we're uh we're heading up this way. Okay, let's go. Alright, so this uh boy, we got off the nice comfy trail really quickly. We had some nice days this past week and we also had some really rainy days and the temps are around zero degrees Celsius today so it's not too muddy yet, <laughs> famous last words, still a bit of ice in certain spots just mainly because we're more in the forest now and um, the temps got down quite a bit last night so. so yeah, so we'll see how we do. So I spoke too soon, said there was no mud, there's mud. And I am going to be okay this week getting my feet wet. I am not going to worry about it. I would rather have wet feet than fall again. So I'm going to be okay with that. My uh, trail runners have not arrived yet, nor have my trekking poles. So I have slightly better sneakers on with a better grip. But I'm not going to worry about wet feet. I have nice, warm, comfy slippers in my vehicle for when we're done. And I have extra socks, so... I will do what I have to do. I have to admit, I'm uh, more tentative than I thought I would be. I guess I'll have to get over that. We made it to the top of that and we have an option here. We have Skull Rock up that way and we are going to continue our Admiral Lake Oop, up that way. That's a little bit better trail. So we're coming up to a bit of a clearing. We had quite the elevation there and we've made it to a rolling stone. <laughs> and let's see what's the sign on the other side. Oh, to the rail trails. 1.32 kilometers to the rail trails. Is that what it was? Is that it one point? It was a lot longer than that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it did, didn't it? No, it had to have been more than that. Oh, here's Rolling Stone. I found Rolling Stone. <gasps> oh. oh my goodness. So we are taking a little break up by uh, 
Rolling Stone. And I've got to tell you, this is probably one of the best views I've ever had for a little snack break. So facing out here, that is uh, towards Muscadabit Harbor. Out that way and behind that mound of trees, of land, is the uh, ocean. Thank you so much, kind person who made the marker in a shape of an arrow. We appreciate that. This is so pretty. Like all of these huge rocks are just covered in moss and really thick moss. Like it's soft and spongy. All right, so we just came up to this thing, this monstrosity. Oh my goodness. And we're very thankful we're not climbing the side of that. But this, we believe, is more of our trail. So we are still scaling boulders. Up we go. So we are now standing up on top of that huge rock that we just looked up. Like, oh my goodness. Okay. So we have an option. We can either do the trail or we can do the trail. The trail. Um, Ashley, yeah. what would you like to do? Would you like to climb through the crevices of this ginormous rock? Maybe. Or would you like to take this lovely little <laughs> wooded path down around it all? Well, are we out for an adventure? Or we, or... We, we are definitely out for an adventure, but I don't know if I, yeah. Hello, any animals that I may scare out? I'm coming in. Oh, we can do this. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. It's actually really cute. It is a trail. I'm so glad that we decided to at least have a look. No animals. Just checking. Okay, this is cool. Oh, I'm glad we chose to at least have a look. It's kind of weird feeling. It's like, it's not scary, but it's, you just realize how massive these rocks are. <laughs> Still working our way back. Trail, two kilometers to the rail trail. I believe this lake that we're coming up to here is the Admiral Lake. It's actually quite big. I consider there's no homes or anything around it. It's just nature. We went up all those boulders and now it's uh, time to head back down. Okay, we found our little snack break place, number two. Looking out over this little pond. <laughs> So we're coming to another fork in the road. We can go either to South Granite Ridge Trail. That's where we're going back to is the rail trails. And then Jesse's Diner Main Trail. We're getting back there. We're doing good. We've come quite a ways. This is awesome. Beautiful, beautiful little spot. And, and such a variety. It's been, you know, trees and lake and rocks and it's been really good really good not too much ice there we've, we've passed some patches of ice and and mud and but not not as bad as I was expecting it to be actually so it's been good it's been really good so we made it to Jesse's diner and I gotta say Jesse you uh you have good taste I would definitely dine here beautiful beautiful and if you look down there I think if you can see it you can kind of see the rail trail, so we're getting closer. If we turn to the right, it would have been the White Lake Wilderness Trail. And it shows kind of where we are. We're just going to finish off here, and we're here right now. And then you can do the South Trail, Granite Ridge, all the way up. And right up to Gibraltar Rock, which we did last summer. And there's another trailhead up there. So that one, it says... 
Um, if you do the entire thing, the north granite, south granite is 17.4 kilometers. So it is all wilderness and it does say there's no campfires or camping. So just a heads up. We're going to go left and get ourselves down to a nice flat, even surface where after all this rock climbing ups and downs will be interesting to see. I think we're on our final descent down and I don't think this video is actually doing it justice on how steep it actually is, to be honest. Yay, we're almost here. That's it. We did it, Ashley. That was actually really, really good. Oh, this is gonna feel so good just walking on flat. And we're back on the trail. Here we go. So we are finishing up our hike. We're back on the nice flat rail trail and it feels wonderful, but uh, this was a really good hike. So it is the Admiral Lake Loop, 9.3 kilometers from the parking lot. So that includes the rail trail. And I think it took us, what, four hours? I think it's four hours and 44 minutes it has taken us. And um, we have about a kilometer left on this trail. So, um, you know, normally nine kilometers wouldn't be that long, but because of the terrain, because of the climbing, we did take a couple little breaks, stopped at the lookouts, that sort of thing. So I would say put in, you know, unless you're running it, which would be interesting, but if you're just out for a nice walk or a nice hike, you're not in a rush, you know, probably block off a good five hours, you know, good part, big portion of your day. So it is rated as difficult. And I definitely would say that it is, yeah, I think that's correct, especially if it was more muddy or worse if it was icy. Um, I would think that it would be extremely dangerous in some of those areas if there was a lot of ice for sure. So, uh, but just the variety was really cool. That's what I really liked. You know, we passed lakes. We were doing a bit of rock climbing almost in certain areas. Lots of forests. We were walking, you know, on moss sometimes. We were walking on pine needles. You know, we would have all those look-offs. It was, it was really, beautiful hike so if you get the opportunity I would definitely recommend giving this one a try just be prepared for lots of you know climbing over rocks that sort of thing so a good sturdy pair of shoes for your ankles the trekking poles were pretty yeah. helpful yeah that was really good um, my legs are gonna be sore I can't wait for a nice Epsom salts bath tonight so here's my my good friend Ashley who joined me today she actually got me hooked on hiking last year when we were in the middle of COVID and we weren't doing a lot and they finally started opening things up. We were like, let's do some hikes. So almost every Friday we would do a hike and she totally has me hooked now. So I'm dragging her out. She's dragging me out. It's wonderful. We were good motivation for each other. It's, Absolutely. it's nice to have somebody like that, that you can hike with and really enjoy and chit chat. There was no bears because we talked way too much. So all right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me on this one. Please remember, uh, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, there's more coming out. I'm planning on doing quite a few hikes. Make sure you hit the red subscribe button and the bell so that you get notifications whenever I upload a new video. If you enjoy what you see, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help my YouTube channel grow. Make some comments if you do this trail or if you've done this trail and you want to make any comments about it, please do. Thank you so much everyone for joining me and I will see you next time. Please go make sure you live your healthiest life, live your best life, and we'll see you soon. Take care. I don't think we could have picked a better spot. Ashley found a recliner.